So I am out here in front of the beautiful Sun City Festival Golf Course, and this is the Copper Canyon Golf Course and Country Club here. And I want to share with you today kind of the, the span of pricing that we have out here in the community. So today's video, I'm going to share with you listings, and I'm also going to go over with you kind of what the price range is on a new construction as well as a resale home. So stay tuned. I will be right back. Hi, I'm Kelly Norton, your AZ Realty Lady at EXP Realty. Count on me for all things Arizona real estate. So before we dive into these listings, I do want to introduce myself. For those of you who might not know me, I'm Kelly Norton. I'm known as the AZ Realty Lady. I'm an associate broker at EXP Realty, and I'm a 22-year real estate agent and a Valley native. So if you are looking for a real estate agent that's very experienced and really knows the Valley, then I would love the opportunity to help you with your relocation. Calling or texting, it is the best way to reach me. So let's get started with the video today. And if you wouldn't mind subscribing to the channel if you like the information and feel free to ask a question. If you have a question or if you uh, have another type of video that you'd like me to film, just go ahead and put it in the comments. It helps my video, but it also helps me be able to find out how I can better serve you. I want to give you a tour through some of the recent sales here in Sun City Festival. One of the things to note about this community is that there is something for everyone when it comes to price. So the least expensive home that we're going to tour today is 330,000. And there's houses in this community that are well over a million dollars with golf course and mountain views. So Sun City Festival, I do have a full community tour. I have several videos on Sun City Festival, even some of the, the model homes as well. So feel free to watch some of those more in detailed videos. This one today is for the resale homes. So to, uh, to give you a tour of homes that would be on the resale market, we're gonna break this up into two different sections. When you drive into Sun City Festival, you're gonna notice that there is Sun City Festival on both the north and south side of the street. So over on the north side, you have the Sage Community Center, Community Recreation Center. And you also have the restaurant over there as well. So you have a lot on that side of the street. Some of those homes over there are a little bit older because that was the original section. Now you do have golf on both sides of the community. So both sides of Sun Valley Parkway. And over on that north side is where you'll find the dog park. That's where the fire and police station is and the helicopter pad and uh, you also have the wood workshop back there as well. So all these things are on the north side, which is a bigger expansive area of the community. And so let's dive right into our first home that I'm gonna tour for you, which is gonna be the least expensive that has sold in the last six months on the resale market. So this first home that we're gonna give you a tour of was built in 2006. So this is a two bedroom and a den, 1,490 square foot. So you're definitely in more of that petite floor plan, but it still had two bedrooms and a den. And because the home was built in 2006, you do have some of the outdated uh, features and finishes in the home, but it's definitely giving you more of an affordable price point. This home here sat on just over a 5,000 square foot lot and did sell for 330,000. This was the least expensive home to sell in Sun City Festival in the last six months. Time of filming for this video was the end of January, 2024. This next home here uh, was 1,612 square feet. This one had a full three bedrooms and two bathrooms. This one built just a year newer than the last house. 2007 is when the home was built, but it does have quite a bit bigger lot size. So this one, 7317 for the lot square footage. And this one, you had two car garage with a golf cart garage as well. This one was located kind of further back towards Beardsley on almost the furthest north point of the community. Now this floor plan, very nice and open, and even though it was built back in 2007, you still had granite countertops, beautiful cabinets, nice open living room, obviously different flooring than what you would have in today's homes. Now again, 7317 square foot lot, this home sold for 375,000. 
So one important thing to note about pricing in these age-restricted communities is that if you purchase during the summertime, oftentimes you will get a better deal. Now, not always, but there's not as many listings on the market and a lot of folks will sell their home in the spring when more buyers are in town. So if someone is selling during the summer, sometimes there's a real true motivating factor there for them to be selling it during the slower season in the market. So this is a time where you can typically pick up a property for a little bit of a better deal than what you might be able to if you are purchasing in season, which would be say October to March. Uh, summer season definitely falling more into that April, which is spring, but usually April to September is when there's fewer listings available just because not as many people sell. But a lot of times as a buyer, it's a great time to buy. Now we're gonna jump up about eight years newer. Now we're still over on that north side of, of the Sun Valley Parkway, but this home here is the popular sanctuary floor plan. This is a floor plan that you can still build here at Sun City Festival. This home is two bedrooms with a den and 1,840 square foot. This particular home was built in 2015 and it just had the two car garage. It didn't have a golf cart garage option. And this home uh, with the den really does make it a nice flexible layout. And this property finished nicely. Backyard did have some landscaping done with a little sitting area and tile floors on the interior and a nice little kitchen with the uh, curved island. A lot of people will say, hey, I want that curved island. Um, not all not all of those are available currently when you're building certain floor plans they did allow you to have that staggered curve island. Now this home here sold for 399,000 and again 1,840 square foot for the sanctuary. Now we're going to stay right in the same square footage range but this here is going to be the Jamboree model. This was built in 2013 and this home was 1819 square foot with two bedrooms and a den. It sat on 6,600 square foot lot. And again, this is still on the north side of the community. Now with the Jamboree model, you do have that little front courtyard area, which is really popular for a lot of folks. They really like to have a little sitting area out to the front of the home. Now the interior, nice open layout. Just depends if you like the floor plan where your door kind of opens right up to that living space. Kitchen, part of the kitchen is kind of tucked back. The other part is visible from the living space, um, but really a lot of usable counter space. So this home here sold for 450,000 and it was on a 6,600 square foot lot. Now, just to give you an idea of taxes. So you do have a CFD out here in Sun City Festival. And the taxes are just slightly higher uh, due to having a CFD. So in 2023, this home here on Tonto that sold for 450,000 had taxes of 2907. Now this home is the beautiful gala floor plan sitting at 1612 square foot. This particular home here was built in 2007 and you are gonna notice that this home has its own private pool. Now, one of the benefits of having a private pool is this is going to give you a uh, requirement to have a fence put around your lot. So if you happen to be neighboring one of these pool lots, there will be one of those wrought iron fences around. And this particular home, there does happen to be hedges around that. So it really has a great private feel, beautiful patio, gorgeous fireplace. And this home really is stunning. So this gala layout is two bedrooms and a den. And this home sat on around a 7,000 square foot lot and it sold for 459,000. So this home here is the Haven model. This is an 1884 square foot. This is a currently offered floor plan. You'll notice that this home is built 2019. So a lot of the finishes here are uh, a bit more modern. And there are some areas over here on the north side where there are 
brand new homes and then also some where the homes are built in the last three to five years. But for the most part, over here are the homes that were the original homes. You can see beautiful palette here on this home with the white cabinets and uh, the granite countertops, beautiful wood look tile flooring. And this home actually sat on an 8,414 square foot lot, which is pretty good size, uh, giving you a nice spacious backyard feel and it was a corner lot. The taxes in 2023 on this home were $2,404. This home sold for $507,000. Okay, so we have another home with a pool here. This one is the Destiny floor plan. And again, this is another floor plan that is currently available to build. This home was built in 2008 and it was 2,092 square foot with two bedrooms and a den. And this one was on a really good size lot, 9,494 square foot lot. And it does have its own private pool. Now this one does have a third car detached garage. And when they built this home, that was an option for that to be a guest house. So there are some destiny floor plans where that's a little guest suite instead of it being the third car garage. Now, again, this one was built in 2008 and sold for $569,990. And that sold here in the fall of 2023. Okay, now we have a beautiful scenic golf course lot here, 266th Avenue. So again, you can get golf course lots that are on the south side of the community if you wanted to build brand new. Uh, this one here is over on the north side. And this floor plan is the Fiesta floor plan, which is currently still offered. Now, some of the floor plans that they offer now are different from the way that they were uh, when they first built them earlier on into the build. So there will be some changes you can see in some of the floor plans. Um, but this one here, 2323 square feet, two bedrooms with a den. This was built in 2007. This one does have that extra third bay garage uh, for you to park that golf cart. Now this home sat on a 9,711 square foot lot. This floor plan had a very nice front courtyard. Again, really a popular feature out here in Sun City Festival. And this home had shutters, had you know a little bit more of the darker features. Uh, that were a little more common back in 2007 with more of that tan paint versus gray paint and darker cabinets, granite countertops and tile flooring, um, but really a beautiful house, nice open layout. And uh, this one did sell for 670,000 with that beautiful golf course lot view. So this next beautiful home was the most expensive home to sell on the north side. It sat on an 8,480 square foot lot. And this home has a total of four bedrooms and a den and three and a half bathrooms. Now this house actually is one of the floor plans that has the third garage converted to a guest suite. So there's 240 square foot in that guest suite and it is uh, accessible through the front courtyard, but is detached from the house. The total square footage, 2400 square, just over 2,400 square feet. And you will notice in this house that they've definitely done some upgrades after market and also some when they built the house. The gorgeous ceilings that you'll see in the owner's retreat. Also, they've certainly done a more recent quartz countertop upgrade and they've done what we call the waterfall edge on the countertop where you take those countertop edges and they go all the way down to the ground. Um, they've done a lot of custom features here and this house sits right on one of the waterways on the golf course. So a view property with a watered view and you will notice from community to community here in the valley, if you have something on the golf course and the water, those are typically gonna be your more premium lots and usually premium means more expensive. So this home sold for 840,000. 
I hope you're enjoying the video so far. We do have more tour to go. We are now gonna jump on the other side of the Sun Valley Parkway and give you a tour of the south side. So these are gonna just be a couple homes that are the newer houses that have sold on the resale market. And this side tends to have more of that really ominous mountain view because you're closer to the mountains. So no matter where you look and where you drive around, you see the mountains over here. And this one has the Sunita Club. So this is the newer of the recreation centers and you do have the golf course over here as well. And uh, I can't wait to share it with you. The pool is gorgeous. And also the spa over here has amazing sunset views. Anytime I'm showing houses and we're out there looking at the pool and it happens to be evening time, there's always people at that hot tub enjoying the beautiful Arizona sunsets. Okay, so now we are over on the south side of Sun Valley Parkway. This floor plan here is the hideaway. This is one of the smaller floor plans featuring 1,569 square feet. This home here was on 259th Lane, built in 2020, and two bedrooms and two baths. This floor plan does not have a den option, but they did have an option over on one of the walls near the living area where you can build a little office nook. So some of them will have that. You can even build one aftermarket as well. This home had a really big lot, so 9,830 square foot lot. You can see all of the modern finishes on the inside with the beautiful flooring and the white cabinets. And uh, also this sat on a corner lot. And this home sold for 457,000. Next home to look at here is going to be the Serenity floor plan, 2474 square foot with three bedrooms, two baths and a den. This one was built in 2021 and sat on a 9,440 square foot lot. And this one had owned solar, which can explain some of the pricing there. It's always a better benefit if the solar is fully paid off. Uh, a lot of times there'll be a little bit of a price increase there, but a better deal for the buyer all the way around. Uh, this one had shutters, beautiful uh, flooring that looked like wood, and a gorgeous kitchen with all the modern colors as well. You'll notice when looking at the backyard here that there's uh, no fence in between the lots. That's very common out here in the Sun City Festival and many of the 55 plus communities. But there is a fence between the backyard of your neighbor's home only because they are on an elevated lot. Otherwise, if you were on the same uh, elevation, there probably would not be one there. So anytime that the elevation changes, then they have to put one of those fences there fully landscaped backyard here. And this home sold for 650,000. Just to give you an idea of what the taxes had come in for on this one in 2023, the final tax bill was $2,841. Now this next home here, I was actually the buyer's agent on this and I sold this to one of my YouTube viewers. So this home did sell during the summer months. Uh, we went under contract in September, closed in October. So they were able to get a pretty good deal on this house. Um, we negotiated this one and sold it at 775 for the beautiful Voyage floor plan, which is 2,800 square feet. So um, kind of unheard of to be able to get a golf course lot with this square footage at this price in here. 8,865 square foot lot. This home built 2019. And again, this was a three bedroom, four bathrooms and a den. So you did have en suites here and it did have that golf cart garage as well. The last home that we're gonna share with you here is 2,798 square foot. This one did have a pool in the backyard and this was built in 2020. Now, just under 2,800 square feet, this floor plan also had three bedrooms and a den with three and a half bathrooms and really was finished off very nicely. Uh, does have a nice front courtyard and that gorgeous backyard with the pool sitting on a 9,500 square foot lot. This home sold for 925,000. Now there were other homes, uh, specifically a voyage floor plan that also sold on the golf course sitting in the mid 900s. 
Now keep in mind, these are just some of the homes that we've shared with you. There, uh, of course, are other homes as well. There was one mid 900s that sold on the golf course right around that uh, 2,700 square foot range and uh, was also just a few years old. Thank you so much for watching the video. Again, I'm Kelly Norton, your AZ Realty Lady. Hey, if you think you might be interested in Sun City Festival, I do have other videos on this gorgeous community. And again, just call me or text me. It is the best way to reach me. Take care, you guys. Until next time.